in your house. And if I start leaking, I can be more than annoying. I can cause major damage. And trust me, you don't want that. Leaking pipes or low water pressure usually mean faulty and corroded pipes throughout your home. Repipe specialists can repipe your home in just a day or two, and most times at half the cost of a plumber. We'll even repair the walls and offer a lifetime guarantee. Call or visit us online for your free in-home estimate. Go and check my drip, take a bite, feeling fit. We're back in the mood. Shining the mood. Viva en el estado dorado, live in the golden state. Joining us live, Saved by the Bell's Tiffany Thiessen. Plus, the digital basketball hoop that lets you play with someone across the miles, train, and track your stats. Tomorrow. Party with Joey on Friends, weeknights at 11.30 on KTLA 5. That Houston tipping may have been harmed and later died. Tonight, a beloved father and aspiring rapper is dead and a gunman on the run. Is this right? Is this fairness? Landlords livid over LA's eviction moratorium, forcing them to foot the bill for tenants that couldn't pay through the pandemic. The city council decision today that likely has them celebrating. And the road to ruin? As SoCal gas prices surge to new records, we're learning California is packed with the poorest streets in the country. The News at 5 starts right now. Good afternoon, this is the KTLA 5 News at 5. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Lou Parker in for Pedro Rivera. Thank you for joining us this evening. Happy to be here with you. Nice to have you. New details in the case of an LAPD officer who died during a training exercise. A lawyer for the officer's family says he was targeted despite his death being ruled as accidental. His family believes he was singled out because of an investigation against four fellow officers. KTLA Sandra Mitchell is live at the LAPD Training Academy in Elysian Park with more. Sandy. Sharon Lou, that officer was part of a training uh, uh, exercise here at the police academy, but they were using a foam baton. So a lot of people are wondering, how did this officer end up dead? His family now saying that he was attacked and beaten by a fellow officer. Uh, but today we have the results of this new LAPD investigation. Still grieving his death in May, the family of LAPD officer Houston Tipping now is accusing the police department of a massive cover-up. We have uncovered evidence that Houston Tipping may have been harmed and later died as a result of retaliation as a whistleblower. The attorney for Tipping's family says he was killed by another officer during a training exercise. Tipping was investigating an alleged rape involving four LAPD officers. Attorney Bradley Gage says one of them was there when Tipping was fatally injured. Gage also insists Tipping's injuries are inconsistent with an accident. Chief Moore first said that the allegations of a head injury were without merit, but then I showed photographs of a head injury. I showed seating and policy announced their investigation concluded the death was a tragic accident with other officers trying to save Tipping's life. At that time, they rendered aid, including uh, later CPR, rescue breathing, monitoring pulse, and use or attempted use of the automated external defibrillator. The LA County coroner and now the LAPD commission have concluded the death was an accident. The family attorney says they will proceed with a lawsuit, even though LAPD chief Michael Moore called their accusations baseless. It's a tragic circumstance and I don't intend to get into uh, a war of accusations back and forth, but it's disappointing to me. So, Sandra, do we we know that the officer's death happened during a training exercise. Is the department making any changes at the academy? Well, Cher, I can tell you that they are not admitting any wrongdoing, but they say they are reviewing the training protocol that happened that day that Officer Tipping was injured and then three days later died. They said they went over that and they will make some changes going forward. But again, they're not admitting any wrongdoing and went as far as to say none of the procedure that was done that day contributed to his death.
We're live in Elysian Park. I'm Sandra Mitchell, KTLA 5 News. Sharon Liu, back to you. Okay, thank you so much, Sandy. An aspiring rapper is dead after he was shot and killed while, while walking with his friend in Koreatown late last night. And the 32-year-old rapper known as Half Ounce died from injuries he suffered after being shot multiple times. And tonight, his shooter is still at large. KTLA 5's Kimberly Chang joining us live in Koreatown with the very latest. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, his loved ones told reporters